Hey guys, Terrapup here, and today we are going to be adding additional memory to my Desk Pi Super 6. This is a really cool board that you can purchase from uh, the Desk Pi folks. And what's unique about mine is I kind of joke, and I'll leave a link to where I built it out, where I was uh, calling this, uh, you know, fruit salad, because I am running. A bunch of uh, different CM4s but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking the two one terabyte um, MVNE drives that I had removed from the CCWK uh, that uh, is running TrueNAS that is going to be part of my DeskPi uh, RackMate T1 rebuild and we're going to add it to this and we're hopefully going to be able to uh, build it out so that we can um, take three of the uh, one terabytes and put um, SEP onto this board. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive at how I have my CM4s on this particular ITX board. Okay guys, so we have the lid off now of the case and um, you can see the ITX um, motherboard that has all six of the uh, CM4s on it. And we're gonna take a deeper dive. Now, next to each CM4 is a number that correlates to the slot. And this is important because on the bottom of the board, if you're using your SD cards or your memory, that is uh the pi that is going to align up so on the top row it goes from right to left and on the bottom row it goes left to right so we start off with one two three and now immediately below three we go four five six and again i am running a um a mixture of CM4s and it's working quite successfully. So as I told you guys, I have three CM4s, uh, Raspberry CM4s to be correct. I do have six on the boards, but three Raspberry uh, Pi CM4s. And they are in slot one, three, and four. Now they are all running Raspberry OS and they are running on the EMCs that came with the boards. Now, number one is actually running Casa OS. That is an application that allows me to run Docker containers. Three and four, I am planning to get Kubernetes up and running on those. So um, we will uh, go down that path and try to get it working. Now, I have two banana pies. They are on five and six, and they are going to be part of the Kubernetes cluster. So I should have four CM4s running uh, in total. Now, I want to point out something real quick. You'll notice the mixture of fans, okay, and heat sinks. Uh, I could have hooked up the fans on the ones on top. I did, but I've unplugged them because um, I just want it to be safe. Okay. And the banana pies, I couldn't put the C Raspberry CM Pi 4 heat sinks on top due to the uh, where the location of the antenna connections are. But no biggie. At least I got to use these beautiful copper heat sinks okay and the last one is an orange pi cm4 and it's in slot two and it is running um orange pi os with uh, x phase four and i actually have um xrdp running on this with a libvert d because this one has enough memory on it i'm actually running um rel nine arm and i'm using that as a dns server 
okay and it's running on libvirt d it works very beautiful and i xrdp into it so that is my um my cm4s on the board the only other thing i would like to point out on the banana pie cm4s i'm running armbian uh debian and um uh, they are running beautifully on there okay all right let's continue on working on the super six all righty so we've added the additional two one terabytes to the other ones and look at all that inland uh storage yes i like inland so yes those are the two one terabyte MVNEs that I've added to the additional one terabyte that existed, the 512 terabyte that existed, and the 500. Okay. And we're going to be booting it up here in a second, but the one terabyte that was existing, I never did use it. So we're going to take the other two in that one and we're going to build us a nice little set pull just to see what we can uh, do it for our kubernetes network the 500 terabyte is where casa os is running and the 512 uh, terabyte is being used by orange pie where my libvirt is so now we're booting it up everything should be coming up and you should be seeing all the colors there it looks like it is successful. So, all right, we're done with this. And this is Terrapup wishing you guys peace until the next video.